guys so i'm sorry about that my phone keeps dying so ha i'm having said that i just want to you know avoid those you know procrastinating just like i was saying in like a video that got cut off off right um you're trying to procrastinate the study by trying to watch videos or trying to use study how to study yet you're not studying of course you need to put time to plan because you if you fail to plan your plan, plan will fail right that's obvious but you are focusing on steps, you know, how to give yourself a boost or, you know, just do it anyways. This is what you need to tell yourself. You're going to have to work anyways. There's no such free thing in this world. If you understand this earlier, then the better. The earlier, the better. If you didn't understand it then, then you should understand it now. Nothing is free. It comes with a price. So if you're aiming or you want to you're paying for some things keep in mind it comes with a price nothing is free right we have to that's why when the 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 devil tempted jesus right um right of power right because such power comes you know with a price just like you know power comes with with such responsibility there's that movie best, uh, uh, best movie for kids because it trains your mind to you know but it's it's losing the, the the focus that we should be putting on. That's this this is the most important thing um, that we need to know. The facts of life. Okay, um, let's not procrastinate. Procrastinating is gonna lead you nowhere. It's like you you know I made a video that you're going supposed to going on that path to God. You're going off path. Therefore, then you're you're wasting your life away, right? You have to turn your face towards God. And that's what Jesus came down for. I know this uh, this line of video is not supposed to be about the Bible or anything, but I wanted to add that because it's the main, the truth of life. Because um, a lot of people, um, this videos are made meant to be uh, in general terms, right? Uh, situational facts of life, you know, how we handle uh, situations in our life, all right? Um, so it's really important that we should just do it. Like, okay, we don't love the job that we do, but as a man, we need to provide. Okay, we don't like to um, wipe bam, uh, poo, but we're going to have to clean our baby's poo, right? Okay, we are, you know, you know, we have to do it anyways. That's, uh, that's what makes, you know, a man, man and a woman, a woman. Like giving birth and, he, you know, give, carrying the child and he doesn't care about the body. He doesn't care about the, um, um, when I was pregnant, my firstborn, I, I had nice long hair. As a child, I was always complimented. I, I have a small, very petite, um, you know, and then I have long hair in the Philippines. I spoke British English in the Philippines because I grew up in the American, partly in the American base. My mother worked there and my father is somewhere around the world um, as a seaman. He was an engineer, I believe. Uh, seaman, I don't know the, the his title in the, but he goes, he went all over, he went Canada. So as growing up, um, I never know less. I spoke English, so I was very, very, um, I get uh, the attraction all the time whenever I go, right? Um, this is not us, and I've forgotten about it. Um, so having speak that, I took care, I love my hair, and I, when I go pregnant, I cut them all with my nails, I make sure that I eat healthy food, I learn a study and study about, you know, you need to do all those things, right? But what I'm trying to say is you're avoiding the how to get motivated. You, you know, like, oh, how to wake up in the morning, how to, like, you know, you have to, you have to tell yourself to, to go to work. You have to tell yourself, you got to go to work. There's no other way. Go to work because you got to provide. There's that child that's going to be uh, hungry, right? I know, but I breastfed. You know, like um, they're all, I didn't do any epidural, they're all natural birth, and I also breastfed all of them. My child actually, honestly, almost five years. Uh, my firstborn, she was like so, not as spoiled in a material way, although I give her whatever I have at that time, but she's very spoiled. She's so attached to me. When we moved to Canada, I have to, I have to break her spirits. I have, because I have to work at night, and she's so clingy to me, and she needs to step up because she needs to take care of her. Of her sister, 